But yeah, like when I was like in my super hardcore competitive StarCraft days, I would do nothing but be a tryhard in every single game. Like try to min-max the JRPG that's designed to be beaten. Try to like solve puzzles in the graphic adventure game the fastest, you know. And over time, I just like slowly became more aware of just the fact that you could have fun playing a game. <laughs> you didn't have to like, there's not, there's not some like, uh, Sean, there's something wrong with you unless you're like succeeding at everything. Yeah, the place that I actually learned about um, playing games for fun happened when I was actually at my peak of StarCraft One skill and practice time. When I was like really like doing very well in tournaments and traveling a lot more and just grinding out the hours, I just would get a little burnt out. Especially when you'd have lost streaks, because StarCraft One is an incredibly brutal game. I mean, my God, you think you think that FromSoft games are brutal? <laughs> try, try playing one v one StarCraft One way back when they didn't have gases at the natural expansion. Oh my God! And so I was getting really burnt out. One of my friends just suggested that I play two v two v two v two infinite money map StarCraft One with them, and it was so fun. But it was also, like, kind of random, because sometimes, you know, two people would gang up on you. And, I mean, if you were really good, you could, like, defend it. Then right after that, suddenly, then suddenly you were just, like, ganged up on by another pair of people, and the game would be over. And I used to get really mad. <laughs> so stupid, uh! and And, like, honestly, my friend was just like, dude, what is the matter with you? Like, it's just, none of this matters. These people don't even matter. This game doesn't matter. This is not like a ranked thing. It's not going to affect your tournament wins. Like, just chill out, man. Just enjoy yourself. Like, no, but I'm the best player hero. He's like, yeah, sure you are. But this this game is just a, it's a clown show. That's why we're playing it, because it's fun. Oops. And, and after a while, I just started to actually find the joy in the game. You know, doing things like if I got ganged up on, I would just start, like... Kind of like the same characterization that I do right now, where I'm like, Never give up! Never surrender! We're gonna win! When I'm obviously, obviously gonna lose. <laughs> where I'm almost just like, No! We can't be beaten! We have to move onward! We must win! Uh, you know, just like, just having fun. It was really interesting. I just, like, became a different type of player. Seemingly over the course of a few months of playing Big Game Hunters. And it was like super healthy for me to just like open up StarCraft and to enjoy myself instead of, well, I'm happy if I win and I'm really frustrated if I lose, you know. And you just, and ever since then, I just, I, I, I feel like that process was actually sort of a few years. Like there was a big leap of changing me over the course of a few months, but like for the next few years, just like slowly more and more and more in different ways, understanding that, you know? Oh my God. Just slowly more and more and more understanding just how much fun stuff is. Like, like how much fun there is to be had in games where you can just like, a, a legit way to play is just to stop and go, isn't that pretty? Like, this is this is as legit as it gets. This is great. <laughs> great says, did hosting Fun and Money influence the way you played games slash had fun at them at all? I think that I would say Fun and Money was more of an expression of that. When Holy Relics says, isn't that pretty? I say each time I open Day 9 TV on Twitch, oh, yes, yes, we're very pro pandering here, baby. <laughs> gamer 1, this was Gamer 2, you're hot over. <laughs> 